All right, guys, Mikey here from the Electric Scooter Guy. And guys, we're going to do a video today on the Dualtron Ultra 2. But we're going to do it on the Dualtron Ultra 2, the upgraded version. And it just came out not too long ago. And I got to say, they made some nice improvements to this Ultra 2. I wish that the uh, upgraded version was around when I got my Ultra 2 about a year and a half ago. But uh, like I said, they made some awesome awesome upgrades to this ultra too uh the regular ultra comes with the you know the ey3 display it comes with the 35 amp hour battery but the upgraded version comes with a 40 amp hour battery same wattage power wise 6640 watts top speed 96 kilometers but i get about 100 kilometers at least 60 to 62 miles an hour it's got great range because it's got that big 40 amp hour battery it's still a 72 volt system it's only 88 pounds so it doesn't weigh much whatsoever and like I said, I really love the fact that they put a bigger battery in this scooter. The 35 amp hour battery is nice, but this has got to be even better. Uh, they say top speed 56, but like I said, guys, I get 60 to 62 miles an hour all the time. 88 pounds is the weight. Range 64 miles, max load 330 pounds, and um, doesn't really have a water rating. And it hill climb 35 degree hill climb. I could probably even do 40 uh, degree hill climb. And as you guys could see, the stats that I was just talking about um, with the motors, with the 6,640 watt motors and the um, 40 amp hour battery, as you guys could see, this one says max speed up to 100 kilometers an hour, which is about 60 miles an hour. Um, also, it's got... Um, it's got, whatchamacallit, it's got a anti-braking system, hydraulic brakes, ABS, the whole nine yards, 160 millimeter discs, front and back. It's just an awesome scooter, and it's very underrated. You just got to take those off-road tires, uh, you know, off the scooter and put some PMTs on there and a steering damper, and you'll be all ready to go. Because like I said, with that 40 amp hour battery and all the other things that they did to the scooter, like for instance... They, um, they put a headlight on the scooter, which is awesome. They changed the rear um, plastic mud guard. They put a different one on, which looks better, but I you know took mine off. Um, the scooter has an EY4 display, which I absolutely love. It's the best display on the market. Uh, so I love that. I have the EY3 display, which is good, but the EY4 is a lot nicer. And I think that headlight in the front is like 2,000 lumens or some shit like that. And guys, look, they changed the kickstand. Finally! The kickstand that I have on mine is like a pencil. It's so skinny. When I put the kickstand down, I feel like the scooter's going to fall. I mean, it's horrible. So they changed the kickstand, which is, like I said, awesome. Look at that EY4 display. Love it. Now, they made an upgraded version to this uh, about six to eight months ago, and then they upgraded it to this because the first upgraded version had the EY3 display, not the EY4 display, and it had the same kickstand. So they definitely, and it didn't have the headlight either. So they definitely upgraded the shit out of this electric scooter. And like I said, all you got to do is take those off road tires off, put PMTs on. The scooter will definitely handle better and will definitely top out faster and go faster because the off-road tires they suck oh and they also put a horn on the scooter it's just so much better than the one that i have i love my scooter don't get me wrong but i wish this was out when i got my scooter because it's the same price as the uh regular dualtron ultra the upgraded version it's about four thousand for the regular one and the upgraded version it's got the nut brakes. I mean, fantastic scooter. And, um, you know, it had, some, it had some flaws to it. But Mini Motors, they definitely, definitely took care of all the flaws and problems that this scooter had. And I love the fact that it's got a friggin' horn. Because my Cobble Wolf Warrior has a, you know, a loud horn. We all know the Cobbles have loud horns. And living in New York City without a horn is 
fucking terrible. It really is. It's terrible. And like I said, guys, they changed that rear mud guard. They made it look a little nicer. But I noticed that this one in the picture doesn't have a heat sink. Oh, actually, yes, it does. Sorry. I was going to say this doesn't have a heat sink because you definitely need a heat sink. I went on a 20-mile um, a ride, and I was blasting it. Uh, in turbo mode pretty much the whole time and it was about 75 degrees out when I got home I touched that um, heat sink and it was hot it even heated up the rear tire that's how hot it got but anyways guys let me know what you think about the ultra 2 upgraded version would you buy this electric scooter because like I said and I'll say it again I wish that this was out when I got my ultra 2 but my Ultra 2 is fine. I don't need anything else. If I need, you know, um, anything else, I got the Kabu. And that's what's nice about switching off from the Kabu to the Dualtron, you know. It's nice to go from a single stem to a double stem. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about the Ultra 2 and would you buy one. Let me know in the comment section um, because I definitely would buy it, especially for 4000 and it's a very underrated scooter. It definitely is. The Nami is really fast, but it doesn't top out as fast as the Ultra 2. The Dualtron Ultra 2 is one of the fastest top-end scooters on the market. But anyways, guys, I know it was a quick video. I just wanted to show you guys what the Dualtron Ultra 2 upgraded version looks like. If you didn't see it before, now you have Mikey from the Electric Scooter Guy. Peace out.